Hi, I'm John Murdy, Creative Director of Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios Hollywood. And what we're doing today is we're doing our Extreme Horror Makeup Press event. And this is the time where we give a little sneak peek of some of the makeup designs and costumes that we're going to be featuring in the event. And as far as the lineup this year, it's an amazing lineup. It kind of covers the whole entire genre of horror. And what I mean by that is we're doing classic horror movies like the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Toby Hooper, but we're also embracing television horror with AMC's The Walking Dead. We're getting into the world of video games with Silent Hill and uh, getting into the world of the marriage of rock and roll and horror, working directly with Alice Cooper to bring Alice Cooper Goes to Hell 3D to life. So what's really exciting for me as the creator and designer of this event is, is touching all those different aspects of the genre of horror. What is your favorite house? I never have a favorite. Everybody <laughs> always asks me that. I always think they're all my demented little children. Um, I don't have a favorite till after the event. And the reason for that is uh, the actors, which we call our characters, are such a huge part of what makes a successful haunted attraction. So until I see those actors performing in their roles, I never have a favorite until that moment. Could you tell us about the Terror Tram? Yeah, one of the unique things here in Universal Studios Hollywood is, of course, we have the world-famous studio tour and this back lot that's been here since 1915 um, for Halloween Horror Nights at night. We put our guests on board the tram, we transport them out to a remote section of the back lot at night, and we basically kick them off. And they have to walk through an area that's about the size of a football field, but within that area, it includes the Bates Motel, the Cycle House, the plane crash set from War of the Worlds, some of the most iconic environments from the world of horror. And it's the only time of year that people get to do this. They get to walk on the Universal back lot. And, you know, it's a cast of over a hundred, and the theme this year is The Walking Dead. So that's something you just can't do anywhere else in the world. That's pretty amazing. And uh, you mentioned Alice Cooper as an inspiration to you. Could you tell us just a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, there's kind of two seminal events in my life that set me on the path that I am today. Uh, when I was four years old, my mom let me watch Frankenstein and it was over. I was, you know, from then on obsessed with horror movies. And then shortly after that, when I was probably six, uh, my brother's older friends left these eight-track tapes over at our house and it was killer, billion dollar babies, love it to death. And I popped those, you know, puppies in and this music came back and it was the marriage of two of my great passions, rock and roll and horror. And from that moment, I was an Uber Alice Cooper fan. I have been all my life. So it's very strange later in life to work with your idol and collaborate with him. And that's what we're doing this year. We started last year with an attraction called Welcome to My Nightmare. And this year we're doing the sequel to Welcome to My Nightmare, which is Alice Cooper Goes to Hell, but we're doing it in 3D. So I'm really looking forward to that one. How involved is Alice Cooper in that? Uh, well, Alice is the, is the inspiration for all of it. Um, I have this crazy encyclopedic knowledge of every song Alice Cooper's ever written every single lyric and what I wanted to do different this year is I wanted to marry Alice Cooper's you know, concept album Goes to Hell with uh, Dante's vision of hell from the Dante's Inferno which is something that was written in like the 13th century um, and when I sat down to talk to Alice about it you know I said this is a little weird but this is what I was thinking the first thing Alice said is oh yeah that was the inspiration for my album so apparently we think alike <laughs> we appreciate your Thank time you. no problem